In 9.3, the only difference on the hypothesis testing is that the standard deviation of the population is not known. Now, just like in previous chapters, that means we cannot use a z-score. We have to use a t-score instead. Now, the formula to find a t-score is lovely as it can be. And if you would like to use the t-table and do the whole thing by hand, feel free. If you have a TI, that's what I'm going to be showing. All you have to do is choose T-test instead of Z-test. I also posted an online calculator if you uh, do not have a TI um, that you can use and choose the one that's T-test if you do not know the standard deviation of the population. So I've got one example here because it really isn't any different than um, 9.2. Papa John's claims that they can deliver a pizza within a delivery area in 30 minutes or less. 35 deli deliveries are randomly selected and the sample mean is 28.8. So that's our X bar. With a standard deviation of 4.1. So they're saying that's coming from the sample. At a level of significance of 0 0.01 is their convincing evidence to support their claim. So first off, let's talk about the null and alternative hypothesis. So the null hypothesis, what would that be? Well, actually, in this one, their claim is actually including the equals to, right? It's saying 30 minutes or less. So the claim is actually that the mean is 30 minutes or less. This one's kind of interesting because the claim is actually the null because that's what they've said all along. The alternative in this case would be that it's taking them longer than that. So in this case we're actually seeing if their claim is right or not and that is what their status quo has been. So we need to verify our uh, conditions. Was it a random sample? Yes. Did they tell us it's normal? No. But is the sample size greater than 30. Well, 35 is greater than 30, so we're good there. So to find the test statistic and the p-value, I'm going to go to stat, tests, and I'm just going to choose t-test instead. I'm going to be inputting stats, so t-test, stats. And it asks me what the status quo is, what the, the null is, and that's 30. The mean from the sample is 28.8. The sample standard deviation was 4.1. And the sample size was 35. Now the alternative here was greater than, so greater than is what we're going to choose and we're going to go down and calculate. I get a t value of negative 1.73 and a p value of 0 0.9538. Now remember, how we decide this is we, we compare the p-value to our alpha. And alpha in this case was 0 0.01. So if, if p is less than alpha, we reject the null. If p is greater than alpha, we fail to reject the null. Well, P is definitely greater than alpha. 
it is much greater. P is much, much, much greater than alpha. So we fail to reject the null. So in this case, the claim was the null. So there is sufficient evidence. to support Papa John's claim. Be careful in some of these. I know we. I said the claim would always be um, the the alternative because this one your your null has to include the equals to. So since they said thirty minutes or less, um, the claim actually included the equals to, so it was actually the null. And I know that gets a little tricky. 